Hello, look here, back to the keys. This is a short video about Hamilton wheels and drawbacks. I'm gonna start with a slideshow and right after I'm gonna show you how the drawbacks work. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. So, as you can see from the slideshow, each drawbar controls a single harmonic. Right now, all the drawbars are with minimum volume, with no volume at all. So, when you press a key, you can only hear a percussive sound. I'm gonna hold the sustain pedal to hold the note and play with the drawbars. Um, I have to turn the amplifier volume a little bit up, the low amplifier. Okay, uh, so the first drawbar second drawbar third drawbar fourth drawbar fifth drawbar sixth drawbar seventh drawbar eighth drawbar ninth drawbar so uh, you have to use uh, these drawbars as a combination of harmonics to achieve the the sound you want, the sound you desire. A common combination is uh, called the Jimmy Smith combination with the first drawbars. I have to lower the volume a little bit. Uh, as I was saying, Jimmy Smith combination is the the first uh, three drawbars at maximum uh, and maybe a little bit uh, of the last drawbars for a, a little high sound then I'm gonna turn off the overdrive So 
this is the Jimmy Smith combination. Uh, the rock combination uses a little bit more of the next two drawbars. It's common with deep purple sounds and with overdrive. Now I'm going to turn off the overdrive again. Uh, another combination, common combination, is the full organ with all the drawbars with the same volume. Another one might be um, the third, fourth, and fifth drawbars, and the others uh, disabled. This is very common for reggae music. Uh, another common combination is just the fourth drawbar. I have turned on the overdrive. Uh, this drawbar alone is a little weaker, so you have to turn the volume a little bit up. Sorry, the SD card ran out of space. So, where was I? Um, now I'm gonna talk about each harmonic. Uh, by testing. I know the third, the fourth is the fundamental frequency, the main frequency. The third is the same frequency one octave below. Actually, the third drawbar is the main drawbar. So as you can hear, I can play the same thing one after above using the third drawbar. So the third drawbar is the main drawbar. Then you have the, the first drawbar is the sub octave. The second drawbar, I believe, is the fifth. Yeah, it's it's the uh, fifth above the third drawbar. The fourth drawbar is an octave above above. The fifth drawbar is a fifth. The sixth drawbar, it's one more octave above. So let's check. Let's check the octaves.
so the first third fourth and sixth drawbars are octaves seventh seventh drawbar is a third Next drop is a fifth, and the last drop is also an octave. So the octaves are the first, third, fourth, sixth, and ninth drawbars. And there are Three fifths, three fifths, and a third. And that was it about the drawbars. Hope you have enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.